Howdy, folks. Happy Saturday to you if you're watching this live. Let's go in, uh, is it Dallin or D. Allen? Dallin 9. D. Allen 9. You did indeed catch a Kerbo stream. Pretty rare. <laughs> I just kind of stream when I got time. Uh, if you're watching this, this will be between, this is the same railroad as my video series. It will be between episodes 14 and 15. Uh, as I stream this, episode 14 came out yesterday, Friday. So we're just going to be doing some miscellaneous work. I wanted to get uh, some stuff moved along before the next episode. So I thought I would stream for a little bit. Not going to be a super long stream. We're just going to be doing some railroad operations. And let's see, we're over here at Alarca Junction. And we're going to start there. Indiana and Ohio Railway, welcome. Nick, howdy, howdy, Tristan. Welcome, everybody. So uh, I've brought the coal, loaded coal hoppers down from the mine. And we've got this big string of Alarca Junction construction cars ready to head back to the interchange. And we're just waiting on the passenger train to clear, and then we're going to do some switching moves to get this locomotive turned around and get this train headed back east. So that is the plan, and I think I've got the log train. Yeah, let's go check on the log train here real quick. Originally it was D. Allen. I gotcha. I thought maybe it was D. Allen, but the A not being capitalized also kind of threw me off. Yeah, okay, so it's getting loaded up, so we'll just keep an eye on that as we progress here. So I think the first thing to do is, let's just check in on the passenger train here. How are we doing? Not a whole lot coming out of Alarca Junction. No more passengers waiting. I think what I'll do is uh, send this back over to Hemingway and we can get around it on the siding. So let's pop down there. And we'll bring it in here by the station. Put on a fusey there. We're going to be doing lots of popping around here as we operate the railroad. And then we can just tell him to reverse. And he doesn't need to go super fast. It's not very far down there. So we'll get him headed out, and I think the move here is to pull these coal hoppers out, hook onto this whole train, pull the whole train out, uh, back it into here, and then I can use the Y to turn the engine, hook back on, and head east. So that's the plan, because there's not enough room on the Y here to turn much more than the engine, maybe two or three cars at the most. And if I remember right, we're on phase. This is the final phase. So once we get this, basically tomorrow, the Alarca branch will be open. So that's exciting. Hey, Corey. Howdy, howdy. All right. So let's get the switches lined up. If you're just tuning in, um, this is... The same railroad as my video series. This will be between episodes 14 and 15. And episode 14 came out yesterday. I'm recording this, or uh, sorry, streaming this on a Saturday. So this is just some miscellaneous work that I didn't really want to put into an episode. I want to kind of move the series along. I'd like to have the next episode be headed, you know, down to Alarca. So we're just going to be doing some miscellaneous work. Uh, we got 800 tons on here. Actually do this from the cab. All right, let's get that opened up. Looks like we're clear. Whistle, where are you? Whistle, oh, there it is. <laughs> you gotta grab the actual handle. I'm not used to doing it that way.
fight the uh, the coupler slack here. We're on a, a little bit of a grade, so we'll give her some beans, get her going. Oh, I forgot to open the cylinder cocks. Bad engineer. Let me know how the volume is. Is the volume too loud? I know I haven't streamed this since before release, so I don't necessarily have it tuned. Looking over on the view meter, it looks like it might be a little loud. We gotta go with, let's go about 60. Yeah, Happy New Year's to you as well, coming up. Hope you all have an awesome and blessed 2024. It's a little soft. Okay. Looking over at OBS, it looks like it'd be blowing eardrums out. So that's why I always get feedback from the audience. Because I don't hear what you guys hear. I hear through my headphones and then the audio goes over to the streaming PC and out to YouTube. I assume it's going to be okay because I use the same setup to record with. But I also turn down the game audio a little bit when I render it out. Go ahead and get the uh, bird's eye view here. We are well past. I need to start paying attention to what I'm doing. Be a new chapter in uh, Turbo Video history if I actually pay attention to what I'm doing. Doot doot. <laughs> What's up, Hexes Hobbies? Welcome. A little bit of a grade here? Yeah, a little bit. I know you gotta tie these cars down or they'll run off. Uh did my train okay, my train stopped at Hemingway, so that's good. air on here crunch hey Doug wild fox welcome all right laced up now I just need to take off some uh, some handbrakes I wish we had an up down up down uh, camera control that would be nice all right turn you off turn you off here we go, 1,300 tons. I hope you had your Wheaties. Is it, I always forget, is it G or K? K35. It's K35, I hope you had your Wheaties. You're gonna need it. Hey, Torney, greetings. Greetings from Missouri, USA. Uh oh. Hey, dummy, that's the wrong direction. <laughs> Sorry, daughter came in and distracted me. Hey, Tyler, uh, yeah, all my streams are available after, after the fact. So you can always go back to the live section on the channel and check out anything I've streamed. I got distracted. Let's try going backwards. We gotta pump up that air though. All right, let's pump air. We'll throw the independent back on. Do 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 do. <laughs> Come on, air pump. You can do it. I threw it in emergency, so it's going to take a while.
Billy Brent went from Whittier to Silva with 2,500 tons. Nice. Yeah, no problem, Torney. Glad I could help out. The tutorial is pretty good, uh, but yeah, it doesn't cover every single aspect. And I've learned a lot from watching other people too. The number one thing I can I can say is people need to go up here to the upper right and click on guide and read this stuff, especially the controls section. If I had a dollar for everybody asking about controls that are right here in the game, I could buy like 10 copies of the game and give away. <laughs> go read the guide, folks. It's right here. There's also some, uh, some other info that kind of adds on to the tutorial about how things work. So click the guide please all right brakes are released let's try this again yeah mikey it took a while because i dumped it into emergency i shouldn't have gone that full of an application so we basically dumped all the air in the train so if you're just tuning in we're doing some work down here at larka junction we're going to get the uh, train pulled out stick the train back in here turn the engine on the y and then we'll be ready to head for uh, east whittier and we're also running the passenger train and i've got the uh the little mogul on the log train over at Connolly creek and we're just kind of doing some miscellaneous stuff in between episodes so this will be uh work this between episodes 14 and 15 of the series 14 just came out yesterday Go make sure is this switch lined up let's go ahead and line this in case we do get down that far we yeah we'll just kind of hang out here hey Doug glad you're enjoying the game Railroaders Online can be fun as well. It's a completely different type of game. I'm giving Railroaders Online a rest for a while. It's just it's just too buggy. The last patch seemed to have broke the uh, locomotive brakes. Like the, I was checking out the new patch on Railroaders Online and I couldn't get my locomotives to stop. So I'm like, yeah, we'll just let that one soak in the oven. So I've been enjoying a lot of Railroader and Star Citizen at the moment. Switching between steam trains and spaceships. <laughs> hey, James, welcome. Yeah, Wild Fox, I've, I've had quite a few comments like that. People have watched, watched the video and they're running trains too. I had some people running trains in Railroader last night while I was streaming Star Citizen. That was pretty cool. All right, let's get some air on. Oh, I always do that. Did I stop too soon? No, I think we're good. Perfect. Look at that. Sheer perfection. It's fairly flat through here, so we're going to need some juice to get started. Hey, Andrew, welcome. Big crowd in here. Railroader has been super popular. Glad you all are having as much fun with it as I am. My usual stream is like 10 to 15 people. And that's totally cool. I've been streaming for 10 years. It's just for fun. But man, Railroader. <laughs> 
I think at one point we had over 200 people in here on the one of the pre-release streams. Craziness. All right, roll on back there. That's plenty fast. Some nice sounds there as the big heavy train rolls past. Yeah, thanks, Dorney. It does help, but I always find it kind of silly when, like, every video I watch is like, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, people understand how YouTube works. I'm not going to bug you about it. So I'm not sure I've ever said that, at least not ironically, in the video in 10 or 12 years, however long I've been in YouTube. You guys are smart. You know how YouTube works. You like it, you push the, the button. All right, let's get about 10 pounds on. Start slowing this 1,300 tons down. Ooh, she slowed right down. I'm always surprised at how well the brakes work in Railroader. Hey, Chris. That's the whistle. Some of you will know what whistle that is. I changed it from the default. Just about ready to unlock a Larka Junction. Trying to make money. Uh, basically, everything you do makes money. I, I took... I kind of regret it now that there's a penalty for canceling contracts, but I took every contract available. And I run passenger trains at least a couple times a day. And I haven't had any trouble making money. I haven't even taken out any loans. Been doing just fine. So between the contracts and... Um, keeping Whittier Sawmill happy at Tier 3 money pretty much just rolls in. All right, let's tie this down. We'll get the engine turned around. I don't know if we need three cars worth, but I'm going to turn on three cars handbrakes here. I believe that is the Reading Six Chime. That's what I settled on. Let's go double check. Yeah, Reading Six Chime. It kind of sounded like it suited the locomotive. I'm not really like a steam train nerd, so I don't know all the ins and outs. It just sounded right for the size of a locomotive. So that's what I went with. Let's go ahead and lock onto the engine. We'll just run around the Y. Although, actually, I need to go throw the switch. No, I don't. The switch is good. That switch is good. It's all good. We can get up about 15 or so as we cruise through the Y here. You got seven engines and 52K in the bank. Nice, Billy Brute. Sawmill on tier five. Yeah, dwarf. I've got I've just got tier three on the sawmill. And I do about two runs a day up Connolly, and that's plain enough for me. Thank you, Chris, for the sub and the like. Appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, attack. I like it. And exactly, like like I said, people people know how YouTube works. I don't need to remind you every video. But I can understand, you know, some people do this for a living, so it's a completely different mindset from me just doing it for fun. I get it. Brakes! This is going to be a nice run down through here with the trees on each side of the track. I like it. All right, how are we looking down here? Let's go ahead and throw that. Come on around the Y. 
Hey Adam, good afternoon. Got to save up for a new PC. Well, I hope you can make that happen. It is a very fun game for sure. Just got the new Train Sim World, Chris. No, I'm not a Train Sim World fan. I will never give them any of my money. But I'm glad you're having fun with it. I know, you don't need to whistle every time, but it's fun. There we go. Now we're ready to head back. How are we doing? We're doing great on coal and water because I filled up before I came over here. And that's just the right length to fit in there. Very cool. All right, you can slow down. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and clean up the switches. Do 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 do. Coming through there. That's all good. Flying all over the place. <laughs> That one's good. Yeah, I haven't been doing the bell. There you go, there's some bell. All right, well that's coming up through there. Let's buzz down. We need to set some switches down here at Hemingway because we're gonna go around the passenger train. So we need to throw that one. And then we need to throw this one. Because the passenger train is going to come back to Alarca Junction. And then in an hour or so, it'll be making its run back across to East Whittier. Stopping at every station along the way. Oh, we need some juice. Been taking it easy with the contracts. Doing a little mixed train every day, Mikey. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing. You can run your railroad any way you want. Some people are going great guns and got lots of people helping out. I just kind of piddle around and I decided I would try a no loan run. So I haven't been taking out any loans. Just kind of growing naturally. And that works for me. All right, we've got some bell just for Chris. Let's get zoomed right in so I can hit up the hoses. Oops. A little too much break there, Chief. Yeah, Raphael, exactly. I mean, some a lot of people have fun with Transom World, so that's fine. It's just not for me. I got tricked by the uh, the original six CSX Heavy Hall, Prince in World One, I guess, sort of, where they claimed it was going to be a simulator and all this stuff, and it turned out to be utter garbage. Throttle works like a cruise control, just ridiculous stuff. And never even got the editor and all the stuff that was supposed to come with one, and here we are in Prince in World Four, so. Anywho, they're not getting any of my money, and that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Alrighty, switches or lines. We have full head of steam. We got all the cars good. No handbrakes on. Let's get on out of here. Got the P18462 on the head end. Cool. I can't remember if I've driven the trains, Chris. I've definitely played a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. I've ridden on the trains. Um, I don't know that I've ever driven them.
Gotta get an F12. Jump in the cab here for a little bit. A little breeze coming through. Don't need that light. Got plenty of daylight. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on Century of Steam. It'd be interesting to see what it's like when it comes out. Okay, we don't want to get too fast because we're going to be going through those switches up here. We'll keep her around 25-ish. Must be heading downhill. Oh yeah, this is that grade. Get a little air on. I don't know what the limit on those mainline switches is, but I like to keep it around 25 when I'm driving. Just got an Xbox, Adam. Uh, Doug, to check the grade, you hold down shift and uh, forward slash or question mark. You hold that down and hover over the track, it'll show you the info. A little more air on. We're uh, cruising here. Yeah, Chris, definitely heard of Sensory Steam. I've been watching it. The videos. Ice is certainly a character. Not really my cup of tea, but that's okay. He's he's a little too high energy. I'm I'm old. <laughs> I've I've watched some of his videos, but he he just kinda wears me out. That's okay. There's a wide variety of stuff on YouTube. I'm definitely not everybody's cup of tea. I get that. All right. I think we're probably through the switch back there. So we're going to let her, uh, ooh, what was that? We'll let her ride here for a bit. We do have some uh, speed limits coming up here. derail something today. I? I think that was maybe just a little processing hitch. Doesn't act like anything's on the ground. Get her down to 25 because I know the curves through here are 25. So we'll want to keep our speed under control. What's up, Stan? Stan with the hashtags. Got a southern book from 1956. Cool. That's probably, probably has some stuff relevant for this line, right? Isn't this based on the, is it the Murphy branch? From what I've heard. Let's go ahead and get some more air on here. About 10 pounds as we head for these 25s. 
Uh, no, we're gonna need some more air. We need lots more air. <laughs> Hang on, everybody! Whee! All right, we knock that off as we come through. The curve will, should help us slow us down as well. Yeah, I got a little, a little heavy on the uh, air there. Probably could have just knocked the throttle off. All right, so that's the last of those. We've got some 30s up here. We're heading into some grade again. I get too carried away. Some of the terrain is still... Oops. It's confusing because if you lean right, if you're looking this way, I guess it makes sense. Because you're leaning, you're not sticking your head out the window. Whee! <laughs> this is a roller coaster ride down through here. Yeah, Stan, Run 8 is uh, awesome. This reminds me a little bit of Run 8, just in like the detail and the operations. Although this has a lot more modeled as far as like the contracts and stuff go. But yeah, Run 8 is best in class for a somewhat modern uh, American railroading experience. It doesn't really get any better. Let's get back into the air a little bit. I think once we're through this curve, we can do like 35-ish. There's quite a grade coming down to this bridge. Can I hover over this? Yeah, there we go. So I got plenty of coal and water. You can probably just head on over to... Well, you know what? There's a decent grade between here and Ella. Maybe I should top off in Bryson. That would probably be the smart thing to do. Any smoking brakes back there? You like the uh, 611 because that's your birthday? Cool. I forgot to tell you, Oregon. Sorry. My bad. Yeah, I just kind of stream when I can. I'm, this, is gonna, this is not going to be a long stream. I'm just kind of doing some miscellaneous work. If you weren't here earlier, this is the uh, it's the same railroad as my YouTube series. And this is just miscellaneous work between episodes. So this takes place, if you're watching this after the fact, it takes place between episodes 14 and 15. Uh, I won't have it, I don't probably won't put it on the playlist. It'll just kind of be out there. People want to watch miscellaneous stuff. I might make a note in the title later. All right, we're hitting 33. I think we're good. We've got a little bit of a downgrade here. Oh, you know what? I need to uh, line up some switches. Oh, we're lined to go straight through. I actually don't want to do that. I want to uh, want to come in. Do, 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 and we'll come right through here and we'll stop here and take on some coal and water. Sounds good. We'll just start bleeding off our speed here. Not whistling for any road stuff. Oops. Worst engineer ever. Finally got yourself a decent gaming PC. Nice. Is it Latun? Latin? It is a ton of fun. Make sure you go through the tutorial and read all the stuff. It really helps you with the game.
Probably should have had that on when I backed off the throttle. Oh well. Luckily it doesn't model things like breaking a piston because you were dumb. Blowing a cylinder apart. There we go. We made it. Made it to Bryson. Kick that off. I'm going to go ahead and back the passenger train back up to Alarca. Uh, I don't remember what orientation that's in. So it's, yeah, okay, so it's facing, right? Do -do -do. I didn't fix these switches as I came through. Shame on me. Get some fun Doppler effects if you're flying around in the camera. <laughs> Whee! And we should be good back here because we came out of the station and I'm pretty sure I left that flare there. Yeah, we're good. All right, meanwhile, back over at Bryson. Go ahead and we'll just tie down a handbrake and we're gonna cut the engine off. Go fill up with coal and water and then we'll be on our way. There's a water spout there. I don't know if I ever even noticed that before. That's handy. Nope, too soon. There you go. Ooh, we only got eight nine eight point nine tons. We've got a car down there, I think. Yeah, waiting to fill that up. Just haven't got around to that yet. Need to see enough. See if I have enough to get... Uh... Yeah, we're just about... Whoa, crap, no! Well, shoot. That's right. We'll get water first. I've almost got enough to get a Bryson switcher, is what I was trying to say. We're going to have a switcher just dedicated to the working Bryson area. Hello? Oh, I was lined up with the hatch. <laughs> no! Other direction. Holy cow, who who's driving this thing? Give myself whiplash. Chris, if you want to see uh, which whistles are available, Check out my whistle showcase video where I go through every single whistle in the game. There's quite a few. All right, we'll get some water. So if we look down here, I dropped off these cars on the way through. Um, I don't, I don't remember if that was in the video. I don't remember where I ended episode 14. I don't remember if it was at Bryson or before we got over here. But anyway, I dropped these off. Uh, this coal hopper is headed over there to the coal tower. You are ready to go, and you are on my switch list. Good deal. So the mogul 50... Okay, we're almost there. Think, thinking about getting another mogul for the uh, Bryson switcher. They're cheap, and it'll be plenty of power. All right, filled up with water. Let's, uh, we got five tons of coal. I think that's plenty. I'll go ahead and just leave that coal here. Water was the main thing I didn't want to run out of. 
Five tons of coal should be plenty of coal, though. Yeah, I wanted to get some diesels to work on, but man, they're expensive. And the diesel has like a ton of tractive effort too. 49,000. So it's more powerful than my most powerful steam loco right now. So it almost seems silly to use that for switching when it's so powerful. But it probably just sips fuel, not working that hard. So I'm definitely looking forward to some dieselization. But it's gonna be a while yet. My plan is to open up Alarca, and then I'll probably just earn money for a while. Get some money in the bank, because once we open up Silva, there's no uh, fuel down there, I don't think, until you unlock it. So I want to have some cash. So we can open up Silva and then be ready to open up, be able to buy the thing. I think it's in Dillsboro. Possibly has fuel. That's a long ways down there for no fuel. It's like further than Bryson, it looks like. So if you go down to Silva, that's 46. So it's, you know, 10, 10 miles. Whereas this is like seven, eight, eight miles over, yeah, seven or eight miles over to Bryson. So pretty long run. Oh, it is using a lot of fuel. And your GP9 is drinking it down. <laughs> oh, you're banning diesels, Corey? Yeah, we're definitely going to get some diesels on the Fedora Railroad. Once we can afford them. All right, let's knock that off. All right, we need to be lined up straight through and then out back out onto the main. Away we go. You know, I might have Al drive for a bit and we'll go check on the logging train and stuff. We'll limit him to 30. That's plenty fast for this big train. All right, good luck, Al. Let me just make sure you're set to get through Ella. I put a fuse down. No, we're good there. Actually, do I want him to... Do I want him to be a drag freight and take this stuff with him? He's already at 1,300 tons. I kind of want to bring some of the stuff back with me. Oh, decisions, decisions. This won't even fit in Bryson, will it? Nah, screw it. Go on through, Al. You're good. Sorry. I keep changing my mind. Hey, ZFG, welcome. I should buy the S23. Why, why would I want to do that, though? It's more expensive. Almost twice as expensive. Doesn't really have that much more tractive effort. And it carries, well, it carries a decent amount of water, I guess. I think I'll just go with the Mogul. I mean, I know, yeah, it's a switcher, but I'm also cheap. <laughs> I think another Mogul will be fine. Yeah, I know I probably don't have to, Indiana. It's just a habit from dealing with more realistic operations on Run 8. This uh, railroader is fairly simplified. All right, we'll let him run through. Let's go check on uh, 
the log train. How are we doing over here? Now we got uh, almost loaded up. We're getting there. You ready to head back soon? And how about the passenger train? You've seen South Simcoe. Oh, is that two locomotives? Nice. We have a transportation museum here in St. Louis that's got a lot of old steam engines, including a big boy. Those things are super impressive close up. All right, those are about nearly half full. Oh, I need to tick uh, Hemingway back on here. There we go. So I think a, probably about six o'clock maybe or so, we'll send this back across the railroad. Although, how many do we have waiting at Bryson? It might be worth making two evening runs. I kind of wish you could unlock like an operations center or something that had telegraph connections to everywhere. And you could just see like how many passengers are waiting at Bryson. That kind of thing. There's a way to do that in game. I haven't found it yet. Yeah, not not too many. So we're good. Go back and check in on number 10 here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make... Let's make a manual save, and then I'm going to advance the time one hour, and then we're going to see if that should have filled up the log train that we can get it headed back down. Oh no, it didn't quite fill it up. Close. Oh, the S23 has a rear headlight. Yeah, that could be handy. I didn't know that, Chris, but I don't know who I don't know any of that stuff. I recognize the name SpongeBob. I'm I'm familiar with that that's a cartoon. I don't know Emperor of the North. Can I pick you up at the next station, Nick? <laughs> you got it. Hop on board. I won't even punch your ticket. Tempted to just go ahead and skip another hour. Then we can get the passenger train running too. Here we go. All right, let's get you headed back. Do -do -do -do. Let's make sure he's lined up to get where he needs to go. He winds his way back down to East Whittier. Yeah, he is lined up. It's getting dark. And his flares sound right cool. So he's all good to go. Let's head back over to Alarca Junction. A lot of jumping around at this stage. Running all these different trains. Oh, nice. We got a full house heading back. Excellent. You, sir, head on out of here. We'll get a flare thrown down at Hemingway. Hey, Milo. Yeah, it's a good time to be a gamer for sure. Across all the genres, there's a lot of good games out. All right, Hemingway Station already has a flare. Excellent. Just double check. We came out of there, so the switch should be good. We're doing a lot of flying around here. And then we need to line up the switch down here at Bryson for him to come through. Oh, Emperor of the North is a movie. All right, I got you. Let's 
you lined up to come back through here. You're good, you're good, and put a fusey down. Actually, how are you doing for water? You're uh, probably ought to fill him up in Bryson. Plenty of coal, though. All right, let's just hang out with uh, the pasture train. It's just got to back up to Hemingway. Oh, shoot. I was going to check. I don't think there's enough room yet. Once I have a Larka unlocked, though, we can actually turn the passenger train on the Y. So I'll probably start doing that. Or wait, is there a Y down here? There's a Y there. I wonder if that'd be long, long enough to turn around a three-car passenger train. We'll have to see, because I guess we will be... I wonder if the thing to do would be to come through to Alarca and then pick up Alarca Junction on the way back. So you just come up and back in. Maybe. Or come in and then back through the Y and back down. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what works best. These guys are all set. Do they not have enough signposts, Nick, on the uh, Connolly branch? Are you right in thinking I just need a large conjunction extension? Um, you know, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember for sure. <laughs> Let me see if that's on the milestones. Uh, complete. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I think the uh, Larka Junction Y milestone unlocks that. Pretty sure. It's in one of my videos. I don't remember which one. I could buy a Mikado and number it 19 as a reference to the movie. I suppose I could, Chris, but I've never heard of the movie, so it wouldn't really have any significance. You know what I mean? You can pick up passengers on both sides of a Larka Junction Depot. Really? That's good to know. So this track works as well. Okay, cool. So we wouldn't even have to come over here anymore. Stop there on the way. I like it. All right, let's get lined that back up because that's probably going to be coming straight through. Look at that sunset. Very nice. Yeah, and I don't remember, Nick. It was... Is uh, was either a Larka Junction or... When I opened this whole thing up. Now I think it came with a Larka Junction because because this that also opened up through to through to here. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I think a Larka Junction unlocks the coal mine and the Y and this part right here. So I'm pretty sure it's that milestone. All right, how are we looking here? You are full up, which means you can't do anything else. Oh no, we can't take any more passengers. Because we're too full. Well, that's a good problem to have, I guess. Alright, you should be all set to head over to Bryson. And how's number 10's coming along? Number 3 is coming through the Y. Awesome. Let's just double check that. Uh, 10 is set to get through Whittier. I'm just going to send him straight on through. Uh, actually, I'm going to bypass. No, we'll put the flare down. That's fine. I'll send him straight through.
Keep on coming, number 10. Once three is through here, we'll line this, and then we'll get it sorted out. Gotta go charge your phone. All right, Chris. Happy charging. I don't know if there is a best, Torny. Just whatever pulls the load. But if you're talking historical accuracy, I have no idea. I've just got uh, the original G16 mobile. Takes care of East Whittier, which includes the logging run for the for the sawmill. Uh, we got to get these switched out. We got a lot to work for three to do. Once he gets these logs dropped off. I kind of wish there was another set of crossovers going this way, like right here. That would be useful. That's lined up. That's lined against him. Let's go ahead and throw a flare there. Just, just to hopefully make sure he stops. The sun has fallen and there's still a ton of work to do. All right, I need you. Need you to pull into the sawmill there. Getting a new day started, Nick. All right, have fun. Hey, B-Boy, welcome. KFC Gaming. Mmm, KFC. I think you were here last night, too, weren't you, KFC? For some Star Citizen? I remember getting hungry for KFC. Right, let's go ahead and select number three, because we're going to be running that one ourselves here soon. Or at least working with the AI. Uh, number 10 is just coming into Whittier, so we got enough time to, I think, get backed off of here and round into there before number 10 comes through. There you go. You're, you're fine. Just take back over control from you. Pull you to a stop. Actually, I think I'll just work with Al. Have him drive. All right, going back through there. Uh, Tins coming through Whittier, so we got to clear the track here. Kentucky Fried Chicken. What's up, Tony? My Christmas was great, B boy. Hope yours was as well. Got to see both sides of the family. good times all right number 10 is cleared into the interchange tracks I do need to get rid of this layer though get Al to stop short there so let's hop down here on the ground Get a little lantern out so we can see what's going on. Got some pink clouds. <laughs> All right, Al. Bring her on in, sir. Keep an eye on the series, Mad Moth. Well, I'm glad you were entertained. Hopefully you can get back to your own railroad soon. And yeah, it was good to see some family. We live down here by St. Louis, which is where a lot of my wife's family is. 
I don't have any family down here. They're all a couple hundred miles away. So Good to see him again. All right, there goes number 10. There's nobody in the cab. Who's driving? I kind of wish you'd throw an avatar in there when there's AI driving. That'd be neat. Someday, we can add those little details. What I liked about Railroader, like as soon as I got early access to it before the release and fired it up and like everything just worked, like the core gameplay was there and it all worked. That was awesome. So I knew the project was in, in good shape. We can always add nice little details later. If your core gameplay works, the rest is just gravy. All right, we need to hook on to you guys, which means we need to lace up some hoses. And we need to knock the handbrake off. I've had some weirdness going from yard to road mode, so I used to go back to manual. Wait just a second, and then I'll switch modes. I don't know that it matters, but it seems to eliminate some weirdness every once in a while. You're on your way to your aunt's right now. We'll enjoy the, the visit. You're in Southern Illinois? Yeah, I'm over here in Missouri. Hi over there in Illinois, how's it going? <laughs> I think uh, I think Not Tony is over there in Illinois too. Oh, I almost, almost got it. There we go. You gotta be quick. You started a backwards big drew uh i mean it doesn't really matter it just depends on what you want to do i've been watching uh arthur chapman's new railroader series he kind of started over and he's going to silva first so it'd be interesting because i i went west so it's going to be interesting to see somebody go east first and how that works out All right, bring her on out, Al. We'll get the switches lined up for you. And we got quite a few cars. Let's bring a Fusey down to about here-ish. Should be plenty of room. And then while you're doing that, I'm gonna go check on number 10 here. Ooh, number 10 just doesn't quite fit. We gotta clear that switch. Um, let's see, the switch is lined against you. Let me see if you'll pull up a little more. to be able to clear that switch i might have to manually drive it so we can get the uh, other trains in here the other cars what are you saying cat what i'm streaming on youtube think i should be petting you i'm say hi to youtube kitty cat Here, you want to come say hi to YouTube? Here, I got to turn the camera on. There, go say hi to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's the microphone. Here, you want attention? His mama's not giving any attention. <laughs> Down here in the basement, caterwauling. So like, where is everybody? There we go. That'll work. All right, then we need to line that and line that. Uncouple you, and then we'll get this engine off. Okay, I'm coming now. Don't worry. I'm doing switchman duties for two different engineers right now. Bring her on back.
Oh, Tony, you're still trying to find the uh, resistor for that car? <laughs> the sh yeah, the shipping can be crazy on one-off stuff like that. Yeah, that was that was the cat. She's pretty much my wife's cat. She's uh, uh, I don't, it's not territorial, but she pretty much decided she's my wife's cat, and she tolerates the rest of us. Yeah, Bad Moth. They'll be adding more scenery. For sure. It's going to get more detailed. There's a lot of buildings and stuff to be added. That's uh, that's in the plans. But like I was saying, you know, the core gameplay, it all works. You can always add scenery later. Rather than having a nice looking completed world and then nothing works right. There's nothing to do. All right, let's uh, get that set. Run. Safety third. Probably sh should have slowed him down a little bit. Oh, you know what I didn't do? So I didn't set a flare here to stop him. So let's do that. I need to throw you. Throw you. You can come on back. You'll go to that switch. That'll work. I'm flying all over the place here. All right, I'll bring that on down. Uh, I think the cat needs a drink, so I'll be right back, folks. Yeah, I think the cat was just wanting attention. Holy cow, there's 100 people in here. How y'all doing? Happy Saturday. You've seen some that regret going East Oregon? It's a long journey, and, and like I was saying earlier, there's no fuel down there, I don't think, until you unlock it. So it's, it's a little tricky, but I know people have done it. Okay, we got those delivered. I assume we got paid. Yeah, we got paid for that. Cool. So that wraps that up. Let's get these off the engine. That uncouple? I guess it did. It didn't, didn't sound like I pulled the pin. Apparently I did. All right, 10 has made it down to the switch that's aligned. We'll get these uh, engines back. Then I need to get the passenger train Headed out of Bryson. We got a lot going on here. <laughs> got my hands full. Yep, yeah, you're ready to head out because you are all full up. So we'll knock that off. Uh, we came through here, so these switches should be good. Oh, no, we didn't. We came through the other direction. Switch that, and then we need to get a flare over here in Ella. I kind of hope there's a little more automation around station stops in the future. That would be helpful for us solo players. Actually, let's throw this down here by the sign. Um, the one thing I haven't done is I need to I need to bring these uh, all these cars home. So I might actually just do that in the dark. 
That might be a thing that happens. All right, number three, you can head on forward. Uh-oh. Stand upset night bot. Oh, did it not like the hashtag? Oh, there's too many thumbs up, Stan. Sorry about that. Nightbot doesn't like too many symbols. Hey, uh, is it is it Roby or Robbie? Roby Hyde? Robbie Hyde? Howdy, howdy. From the great state of Missouri. Out here in flyover country. Oh, hey, Dave. It's all over it. How's it going, Dave? I'm catching up on chat. Pro streamer. Oh, it's on top chat. Good. Go back on live chat. Like, I don't understand. Why does YouTube insist on not showing you the latest messages? Like, we don't want you to see what people are saying. We want you to see what we think you should see. <laughs> Silly YouTube. The tannery needs pulp wood. Oh, okay. I knew there was a paper mill. I didn't know there was a tannery. And yeah, Torney, the new AI with the waypoints is going to be awesome. Get you later, B-Boy. Thanks for dropping in. Roby like Toby. All right, got it. All right, back over to our, our trains. Uh, we need to get 10 turned around. I'm kind of tempted to just take three and just make a sweep down the road. So I think we may do that. We've got cars kind of scattered around the railroad that need brought back. So let's get 10 turned around. And we'll take three and make a sweep. So I usually turn 10 on the Y here. Do, 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 do. Uh, trains with Nick. I thought it was Ela, but I've heard several people in the know call it Ella. So I have changed it from Ella. I used to call it Ela as well. I'm told it's Ella. Why it's Ella? I don't know. That's just the way it is. It's kind of like reading and reading. It's not the Reading Railroad, even though that's what I used to call it when I played Monopoly as a kid. <laughs> I, I mispronounce that all the time. I've gotten called out on that on videos. I am not doing multiplayer KFC. It's it's just me here on the Fedora Railroad. And Al, Mr. Uh, what was his name? Albert Inman. Yeah, AI. Albert Inman. It's a dad joke. Uh, oh, I need to be on number 10. There we go. That'll make more sense. Come on. Let me extinguish the fusey. And then we need a fusey over here. So let's drop one. There. I guess I can't get him stopped in time. I'll throw that switch back, because that's normally aligned that direction for getting logs. Hey, Mew, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, this kind of was just kind of a last minute... Last minute stream. Like, oh, I've got a little bit, so let's go live. I was just doing a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here between episodes. Didn't necessarily want to make a big long video out of all this stuff, so thought I would stream it. Alright, let's get number 10 back in the hole. So number 10, I want you to come back through here. You'll, you can get, uh, We'll see if you need fuel. We'll drop you off here. 
And then we'll stick you back in the hole. Ready for the morning run. Meanwhile, back in the ranch. Get rid of that because that switch is lined against him. We're going to take number three and just make a sweep uh, out and back. Grabbing cars. I could grab, I guess I could grab them with this train, but it's backing up. Don't just ignore that. <laughs> the passenger train is running backwards. I know that upsets some people. So we'll make a sweep with three. We need to go out to Bryson and back and pick up some cars. So we'll do that. In the dark. It'll be fun. Yep, Roby like Toby. Yeah, look, like Hurricane Utah. <laughs> Hurricane. It's kind of like Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. It's not Louisville, it's Louisville. All right, number 10. Let's, let's go ahead and speed you up. I need to check my phone. It buzzed earlier. The cat is acting very lonely. Did the wife go somewhere? She was watching the movie last I knew. Oh, yeah, she went on a run with my son. That's why the cat's down here, chat. The cat's like, Mommy's gone. You need to pay attention to me. <laughs> She's looking for Mama. Got it. Yeah, wife had sent me an IM. She'll be 15 feet away in the same house, and she'll send me an IM. Yeah, Mew, we're just doing a bunch of stuff. I kind of want the next episode to be going down to Alarca. So we were finishing up the work. There was just a lot of like switching and running trains that needed to get done. So my plan for episode 15 is going to be going to Alarca. Because we finished up this contract, that'll be complete in the morning. There was just, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot going on on the railroad. And I don't always have time to, uh, to do it all. But I had some time today, so I thought I would stream it. And you awesome folks could hang out and chat. All right, he is going. How are you doing? Yeah, we, we should get this guy filled up. So you can go back to manual mode. And then let's go to three. So three, you're on forward mode. Let's see what we need to do with three. So we need to pick this up. So we don't, yeah, we need to stop in uh, Whittier. Maybe, maybe we'll just run all the way out to Bryson, turn around and we'll just pick everything up on the way back. Let's do that. So let's have you, you can just go straight through. Whoa. Right? No, because the passenger train is coming. Camera controls are so awkward. I really wish they would change them. To be more like a traditional flying camera view. All right, you're lined up, so he'll stop. We need to get the passenger train headed this way. Okay, you just got unloaded, which means you're going to be loading. You're headed to Bryson, so nobody else is going to load up. Got it. Okay, you can come on through. Hey, Big Drew. Um, I like a little bit of everything in Star Citizen, but I mostly do uh, cargo running and the bunker missions. But I, I, I just I dabble in everything. But those are probably my favorites: cargo running or bunker missions. Uh, I recently got the Vulture, so I've been getting into salvage. All right. So once three gets over here. We're going to want to jump over to these tracks 
and eventually end up down here on the turntable. So we'll get all that lined up. Actually, before I do that, I need to poke that coal car in here. We gotta plan this out. All right, so we'll have him come in to there. All right, where am I? What am I doing? <laughs> it's a great question. All right, he's stopped for the switch. Pasture train is headed this way. Number 10's in the hole, ready for another day. So we can get him, we can get him refueled while we're waiting for that action to happen. And I know it's getting a little dark. Hop in here, turn my lantern off, turn that on. Close that. That doesn't light up much, does it? Wait for your bigger ships to get in the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Quit reading chat. Pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, I used to have a Freelancer Max that I bought in-game, but that got uh, taken out in the big wipe of... Was it 318 or whatever it was? My one ship I have in Star Citizen is the uh, Cutlass Black. So I hauled a bunch of cargo with that, did bunker missions and whatnot, and uh, got the Vulture. Hey Noah, thanks for popping in. Hope you have a good day at work. I was earlier today, I was popped on Star Citizen for a bit and I was exploring some of the new outposts on Microtech. Those are really cool. About to give in and just get an ESC. Yeah, Tony, I think that's probably the way to go. Vintage is cool, but vintage doesn't always work very well. You know what I mean? All right, passenger train's just about getting ready to pass three, so let's bop up there. We can get him headed on over to Bryson. The purists, I know your heads are exploding right now because the train is going backwards, but it'll be okay. <laughs> Sadly, he doesn't turn the light on on the observation car when he's going backwards. Need to remember to take on water over at Bryson. All right, number th oops, number three. Let's have you go wide open all over to Bryson. And we'll throw that back. And then you're coming in here, and you need a fuse. I almost forgot to put the fuse down. Get him stopped. Okay, and then back over to this train. We're running three locomotives at once. It's awesome. And we'll throw that hatch closed. The push-pull set. <laughs> yeah. If you're expecting hardcore realism, this is the wrong YouTube channel. Especially when it comes to steam trains, which I really don't know anything about as far as how the railroads work them. It's a little dark. Can you guys see? Like, how dark is it? I know YouTube makes things dark. Can you even see what's happening right now? Turn my lantern on. Like, I can see okay. It actually looks brighter over on my OBS window. I don't know what it looks like on YouTube.
Barely visible, viewable. All right. There's the sky. So if I go first person, I can turn my lantern on. That might help. See, there's coal going in. You get off the tracks. You're, di you're being dangerous. There we go. That's enough 12 for sure. All right, good deal. Number 10 is full up. So let's turn off our lantern. Let's hop back in the cab. Get her backed in the hole, ready to go for the morning. You can see some coal. Yeah, let me check. Uh, let me get back in here. I think I have a gamma filter I can turn on an OBS that would help. But I've got I've got work to do before we make it morning time, so I don't want to skip to the next day. It'll do. All right, we'll put you in the neutral. All right, let me look over here. I go to. Nope, not that one. Uh, filters. No. Yeah, that's the main view. Weird. I thought there was a. Maybe I took it off. Uh, do, 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 do. where is? No, not. Where the heck did the gamma filter go? Okay, I used to have a gamma filter I could just turn on. Uh, oh, it's called color correction now. There. We'll try that. See if that helps any. That looks very bright on OBS now. All right, we're done with you. Let's check in with the rest of the gang. Three is headed for Bryson. If that's like too grainy and weird now, just let me know. Should be better. Uh, oh, we need to do that one on the switch list. The sawmill I don't care about. Looks like morning. <laughs> Is it too much? I can turn it back down. Possibly a bit too much. All right. I see morning and a bit too much. Let me just go. Filters. Let's bump her down to like. Let's try 0.25. We'll see how that goes. There. We'll try that for a while. So that guy can just sit there. He's he's the passenger train. An ash cloud fallout. Yeah, it's nuclear winter here in uh, in the Murphy Branch. <laughs> All right, let's check in with number three. He's humming along.
better, and that's good. All right, we'll roll with that for a while. I don't know if you like the inside or outside view better. Just coming past Governor's Island. So if you just tuned in recently, we are running over to Bryson. And we're going to do a sweep. We've got a bunch of cars we need to pick up and bring back to the interchange. I had a big freight coming back from Alarca that I didn't want to stop. So I just brought that big freight back to the interchange. Now we're just making a sweep with our little mogul to uh, clean everything out. So let's pop over to Bryson. Let's make sure we got everything on the switch list that needs to be on there. Whee! Great. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we need to switch these guys. Those on the switch list. All right, he's set to line into these cars right here. So this needs to be on the nose. So we'll grab that. We'll go stick that on the coaling tower. And then these are going to the hardwoods. So we'll take those down to hardwoods. Actually, I could just push these forward and work that way. So these three need to go west. And then everything else is pretty much coming back with us. Uh, Bryson team. I wish you could sort by. I wish you could just click on these to sort. Kind of want to sort by uh, location. We're going to grab this off the team track and then we'll head back east. We got some pickups as well. Oh, I think I see if is that a flickery light back there? No, he's not made the corner yet. Al is flying down the track though. He's coming. Yeah, we still got 2,000 gallons. We're doing pretty well. We could probably just grab some water on the way through. We got plenty of coal. We're doing in time. We're an hour and a half in already. So this is why I was streaming this, because this would be an easy hour-long video, even if I did a ton of editing. So I thought I would just stream some of this work. It's fun to hang out and get some back and forth in real time. And this will be between episodes 14 and 15. Episode 14 came out yesterday morning as we're live here. And episode 15 will be headed down to Alarca for the first time. That's the plan, anyway. All right, your orders. Yeah, let's get you slowed back down. We know you're going track speed, which is good. And you are lined up into the correct track. Beautiful. Here he comes. I'm going to switch you to yard mode so he'll couple up. See here that he sees this car that we're standing next to, so that's good. And that's my car, Fedora Railroad. Uh, another hopper I bought to bring coal to Bryson. All right, easy, Al. Easy. There you go. Slow down. Oh, it's going to be a, a good solid couple there, Al. That's That was a good one. I think you're there. 
Uh, I'm not sure when I'll have time to record Mew. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to try to have it out Monday. But I don't know if I'll have time to record today. Possibly tomorrow. The plan, though, is to have episode 15 out Monday and continue the Monday, Wednesday, Friday theme. We'll see how that goes. Alrighty, Al is tied on, so let's go back to your... Actually, let's leave you on manual. We need to get some switches lined up here. Alright, Al, let's head out. Hop on the car here. Monday is ambitious. <laughs> well, we're not really doing much for New Year's, so I, I should have some time. If I can't record it tonight, I should have some time tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if I can get all this switching work done and back to East Whittier. And then uh, we'll be good. Actually, I should probably look at milestones. Um... I don't I don't think I want to do anything else after we get the Larker branch open. I think I want to just earn money. Get the coffers built back up. Oh, we do have enough now for a switcher. So I could have just bought a switcher and ran it down here. Well. Hmm. Oh well. We'll figure that out later. Uh oh, sorry, Al. My bad. Poor Al. I'm not paying attention. He's got a switch lined against him. Episode 14, the one where I told you how to do something you already knew. Oh, I get that all the time. You're not the only one. <laughs> uh, actually, we need to go this direction. Need you to stop down about there. I got like 30 comments about how the reverser works. <laughs> like, yeah, I understand how reverser is supposed to work in real life, folks. It doesn't work that way in the game. It's not that detailed. There's some effect, but yeah, anyway. The fun of being a YouTuber, right? All right, and then we need to do that. Do that. Have Al not get too ambitious. Yeah, I've, I'm thinking about signals maybe at some point, but I definitely wanted to just earn some money and get the bank account built up. Yeah, let's just do five. Five is plenty. Up on the stirrup here. Because signals could help, especially once we get open to Silva. It could help with meats and stuff. AP Terminator. Yep, that's the plan. Just talking about that earlier. We, with the deliveries we just made back at the interchange, we've actually got enough now. I'm going to buy another little mogul to be a dedicated Bryson switcher. So we're going to have the original number three at uh, East Whittier, and then we'll have another mogul here at Bryson. And then the, the big Mikado will be our, our road freight. Running back and forth to the coal mine. All right, Al, bring her on back and just spot her right there by the coal tip will be good. That'll do.
All right, you are good, sir. Well, let's not get too ambitious. Ow! Wait for me! I was in a hurry, apparently. All right, so we got the two uh, Appalachian hardwood cars, so we need to nose those down. So we'll just push those ahead of us. And then we've got some pickups down there. All right, let's get these switches cleaned up. All right, come on forward, Al. Got a good five cars to the couple. Yeah, I haven't done any heavy testing, Stuart. I don't know if anybody else has, but you can basically just set it at 40% and leave it. It's not, it's, there's no appreciable difference I've noticed between 100% and 40% as far as power goes. Dang, Al, you, you do like your hard couples. All right, let's run on down to the uh, water tower here, Al, and we'll top off. There was a glitch, like if it was below 37%, it didn't use water or something like that. I saw the bug report on that. Or I saw something on the Discord, I think. Yeah, we're gone. We'll probably eventually have local switchers all over the place as we can afford them. I've been playing a no loan playthrough, so I'm probably going a little slower than some people are. We've got a water column right up here. We're going to stop for that. Take on some water. I might have mixed it, Wild Fox. There's a lot going on on the screen here. I apologize for that. Let me look back up through the chat. Also need to throw a flare down here so we don't overrun the water column. I didn't stop for that. What did Wild Fox ask? Uh where I found the 13 car for repair Ella track and bridge. So all your cars uh, will be delivered to the interchange. When you start, the interchange is here at East Whittier by the sawmill. If you've purchased the track to Silva, the interchange moves down to here. So depending on if you've bought Silva or not, They'll either be at the original starting interchange right here by the uh, sawmill at East Whittier or they'll be at Silva. If you haven't moved them, that's where they should be. And also what Oregon said, you if you don't have the milestone active, then they won't show up. all right right here like that last batch of cars i took out to alarca branch or delivered to the interchange all right al uh, i'm gonna put you back on manual get you under the water column Yeah, we're down below 2,000 gallons, so we might as well fill up. I guess it was on dim. It's hard to tell if it's on dim or bright. Hey, Corp Nut, howdy, howdy. Yeah, Wild Fox, make sure you do the tutorial. The tutorial explains how all the game works to get you started. Make sure you read all the screens as you go through the tutorial. It's all right there. 
as far as the basic mechanics of the game. There's also a guide right here. It has a lot of good info in it. Make sure you click the guide and check that out. So many people don't look at the game info that's right there in the game. Pretty crazy. You're not the only one that's had questions. I had a lot of questions when I went through it as well. And there was a lot less info in here when I went through. <laughs> but that's why they gave a few of us uh, access to it before release so we could work out some of the kinks. It's always good to get fresh eyes on something. Go in with no preconceived notions and you can kind of find the holes in your documentation. But that's the basic workflow for the milestones and then the contracts as well. But yeah, you would, you would pay to start a phase. It's like if we wanted to do this, build Fontana Lake Bridge, the task is to deliver 13 cars to Fontana Bridge site. These cars will be delivered to the interchange the next time the interchange is served. So like I said, your interchange is in one of those two places, depending on if you bought silver or not. And if you look down here at settings, by default, the interchange is served at 6 a.m. You can change this if you want, but by default, it's served at 6 a.m. So when you activate a milestone, the next morning at 6 a.m., the cars will be delivered. Clear as mud, I hope. All right, Al, let's head on down the track, buddy. Those guys are still, are they getting offloaded? Yeah, I think they're getting offloaded. All right, way down here in the dark. We're gonna come down here. Who's coming out? You're coming out. You're staying there, okay. Probably wanna grab that car first. Who's on the... So R1, forget which one is R1. Well, the empty one will be going. Okay, so that one's going where the car to pick up is. Got it. Hey, Hawks Bay train spotter. Howdy, howdy. I'm doing all right. We'll be bringing that lumber in here. So we'll pull that car out. Probably pull it all the way back, stick it here, and then we can service both tracks. Oh, he's here already. Let's have you slow down there, Al. I'm just going to plot myself right here. All right, I'll switch over to yard mode. Five ninety nine three five. All right, he's got the car in sight. He'll couple up to that. Trying to get your brother to use the switch list. <laughs> it could be handy. Hey, Hammer Mike. Click on Guide. Click on Controls. It's under... They moved it. It's under Track and Equipment now. Control F. Place Fusey on Track. So, Fusey, Flare. Interchangeable terms. Uh, let's see. You are an empty car, so let's. You're good. I'm not even going to bother putting the air in you. All 
All right, Al, back her on up. DH Trains. I don't think I've seen that channel. I'll have to check that out. So we can knock this one off. We deliver that to the uh, coaling tower. Alright, just nudge this one on in here, Al. We'll cut her off. Yeah, and then to remove it, you just click on it. You gotta be kind of close to it, though. Like if I place one here. Just click on it. You gotta be fairly close. If, if you don't see the extinguish, just get closer to it. All right, that'll do, Al. All so the wheels on the other side. There it is. Okay, now we can poke cars back where they go. Scroll just runs that to the bottom. Oh, on the on the controls list. I mean, your scroll. Wow, the scroll wheel like takes forever. You click on this thing, it just runs it to the bottom. Is that what you're saying? It's a weird bug. that back forward again UVR Umqua Umqua Valley Yeah Nick if you're if you place a flare close enough to another one it will it will delete the, the other one Makes it easy to like move them down the track. If it's within, I don't know, 15 feet or so, it'll just delete it. All right, easy there, Al. We want to stop before we get to the end of the track, buddy. That'll do. Al. I told you to stop before it got to the track. Oh, you did. Okay, you're good. <laughs> it looked like he was going to run right off the end of the track. All right, let's go drop off this last car. Am I riding on that ladder? Sure enough. <laughs> Safety third. Oh, that's a good point, Stuart. If you had like a gamepad or a joystick or something, they might be messing with the controls.
think he think he's hitting the bottle a little bit. I'm reading chat instead of paying attention to what the heck I'm doing. Sorry, Al, I made you go way back there. You didn't actually need to go back there. Come on down. I'll throw a fusey where you need to stop. So he needs to bring it to this loading dock, so we'll throw a fusey about right there. Should do. That's right, Dave. That's our motto. Fedora for eight. We'll get it there eventually. You want a mallet, Zach? Yeah, I don't even know what a. I, I mean, I've heard of a mallet, but I wouldn't wouldn't know a mallet from a mogul. Another handy tip. Did they, did they ever explain this in the... Did they explain this in the controls about the middle mouse? I'm not sure, I'm not sure that that's in there anywhere. So if you click the middle mouse button, it switches between two FOVs. And uh, that's in the settings. But in the, I think it's in preferences. Graphics, yeah. So your skate menu preferences graphics. Middle mouse button is flipping between default and alternate FOV, if that wasn't clear. So like I have mine set to 60 and 90. You can set it to whatever you, whatever you like. And then when you're in first person, you know, you, like sometimes I want to zoom out and see controls and whatnot. My default is 60. So there you go. Little tip for you. That's not necessarily explained in game. Why did you stop all the way back there, Al? It's just a flare. It's not going to bite you. Oh, I guess technically the wheel was on the track, so. Al? Al? Hello? <laughs> uh, okay. Al's taking a smoke break. We'll use that on up to the loading dock here. Oh, did you name him too, Corp Nut? Yeah, I named the AI Albert Inman, so his initials are AI. Call him Al for short. All right, that'll work. Where's the, uh, there's the old handbrake. All right, Al, are you back from your smoke break, bud? Kinda, you kind of had me worried there. Yeah, he's back. All right. Maybe you had to step out for a whiz or something. Alrighty, we're done here at uh, Appalachian. Drop those guys off. Just need to grab our empty. And head on back over to Bryson. Yeah, we're not gonna. I don't think we'll see huge engines until there's modding, and then people will be putting on all kinds of crazy stuff. This is a little short line, a little branch line, with some pretty sharp curves. Actually, let's go to uh, yard mode. This 
just the shadow of a lantern. <laughs> nice. Alright, about two cars, Al. Yeah, maybe one. I might have miscalculated. Stop! Man, he, he slams them home with authority. He is not messing around. Don't really need to air in that. It's just one empty car, but go ahead and do her. All right, good sir. Let's head on back to Bryson. Tank engines. Oh, you got even more stuff in the interchange. Interesting. Sounds like you're busy, Oregon. <laughs> got a lot going on. All right, we'll line you back up for the main. You're coming through there. Make sure we're cleaned up. Back through here, and then I think we're I think we're ready to head out after we turn. So we'll actually stop here, and we can back onto the turntable through that lead. We just got the one on the team track, plus the one we're hauling. And then um, we got one in Ella to pick up, and then there's three in Whittier. Oh, too many capital letters. Calm down, Nightbot. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's too many capital letters. It, it helps keep the riff rock, riff raff out, but Nightbot is a little draconian sometimes. All right, let's knock the handbrake off. You ready to go for a turn temple ride, Al? It'll be fun. Alrighty, so we'll just go, yeah, we'll just go up through here to the turntable, turn around. That'll work. Hey, the game of life, welcome. Howdy, howdy. Oh, you had the caps lock for your push to talk. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Right, got plenty of coal and water for the return trip. Everybody else is just waiting for morning time. Here's where he's going to stop. He sees the fusey. Yeah, that'll work. Good job. Careful not fall in the pit.
Oh, you pulled the whistle at the same time? <laughs> You're over in England and you like Railroader. Nice. I like it too. Howdy, howdy from Missouri, USA. All right, that should be lined up. Oops. Let's see if I can get out of the, the roundhouse house. Back up in the engine. All right, I think I'll give Al a break. And I'll go ahead and drive here for a bit. That's my view moving. Is we're on the turntable, maybe? It's Missouri, uh, Zach. I've never heard anybody call it Missouri, except the occasional politician. I don't know why they call it that. I don't know. Maybe there's some small place in Missouri that calls it Missouri. I've never heard it, and I've lived in lots of different places around Missouri and been all over Missouri. Too busy watching everybody else play it. <laughs> Batter C power station station. <laughs> it's like the ATM machine. dialect of the Ozarks. I've been in the Ozarks a lot and I've never heard anybody call it that down there either but maybe there's some little holler somewhere and that's what they call it. I don't know. Alright, let's grab this car. Need to grab the car off the team track, or is it house track? Team track. And we'll head over to Ella. Getting kind of dark here, folks. Now, let's see what I'm doing. I've got the gamma turned up for you guys on YouTube. So you can see better than me. Named it after the old Iron Mountain Railroad. Cool. You got double railroad going on, Corpnet? I should probably get some switches lined up. I meant to cross over and I didn't do that, so I'll have to do that down here. Wee! That's why I had Al drive him, because then I can manage the switches. Now I have to do both. I'm going to probably get mixed up and crash the train. Alright, come straight through there. You'll cross over. You're still lined up for that. Excellent. We're good to go. Oh yeah, where'd you where'd you grow up as a kid and heard that Diala? I grew up in northeast Missouri. I've went to college down in south central Missouri. I spent a lot of time down around Springfield and I've been to the Ozarks a lot. I'm not saying that people don't say that, I'm just saying I haven't heard it. 
it's not super common. Say 40. <laughs> I could say it like my mother-in-law, who's from St. Louis. She got some card barred from the store down on Farty Far. No, I, have, I haven't picked that up. I do call it uh, uh, soda now instead of pop. I did pick that up. No, I don't say farty. Farty far. Let's go down to I farty far. But uh, my mother-in-law does. She's from over uh, around Maryland Heights. I'm a, a North Missouri hillbilly originally. I'm transplanted down here. My drawl gets a little thicker when I go back home, hanging out at the feed store. <laughs> All right, let's go throw the switch. Whee! Yeah, I don't know if it's like ever around St. Louis. It definitely seems to be in, in some of the like western suburbs there. A little western Kentucky. All around Bolivar. Okay, cool. Whoa, easy there, camera. Can't really see anything. I gotta look over on OBS and see what I'm doing. It's getting dark out here. Eight o'clock at night. Those are both empties. Yeah, game of life. We try to keep it pretty family friendly here. We're pretty chill. There's other places for that kind of humor. All right, we're lined up. We got everything. We just need to head on over to Ella. Grab it off the Ella uh, Ella house track. Top of the cab here. Okay, that'll do. Headlight on. Here we go. Full immersion mode. Stick your head out the window. Feel that breeze. This is the weirdest grade crossing signal ever. Pretty good moon up there. You can see through the trees. <laughs> Apparently the clouds don't render if there's a tree in the way. No, they do, but it's not the moon. Weird. I did happen to go there, Zach. Not really an engineer. I guess IT engineer is kind of a, a catch-all term, but yeah. Information systems, IT. 
I've not seen any candy dancers yet, DBL. Welcome, by the way. How fast are we going? We're doing all right. Probably turn it back to about 40 ish. Don't want to get going too fast. Class of 2017. Okay, now I feel really old. <laughs> uh, let's just say I went there long before you did. Uh, a little bit of both, the Allen. DevOps is the new term. Servers, networking, storage. I do some programming and stuff as well. Plus scripting and automation is involved. Oh, there's another crap. Another crossing. Look out! Oh, we need more juice. We're hitting that grade. Got to turn the juice up. Hopefully there were more girls, Zach, when you were there. When I went to college there, it was about six to one. Guys to girls. It was not good. We are on Governor's Island. Getting some rain there, gamer of life. Yeah, we're moonlighting. Doing the night work. <laughs> Gotta get a bunch of work done before I can kick it over to the next day. Ended up at like four to one. Well, there you go. It's a little better. G.I. Joe passing track, you're right. I was going to try to get a screenshot of that moon bug. Not the end of the world, but something I could... Oh, we're going a little faster. A little faster, buddy. Yeah, that tree was too tall. If I can get a shot of the... Now it's coming out from behind the clouds. That one. I don't know if any of those will be useful or not. It's a minor bug. Not a big deal. So we got a 30 coming up here, so we need to get slowed down a bit. Bob Seeger. <laughs> this is my favorite game. I, I don't really have a favorite game. There's just too many good games. I don't have nearly enough time to play all the games I want to play. That's why I bounce around a lot. Oh, now we need some beans. Seems like a long time ago we unlocked this bridge. I've mostly had the AI running this route, so I haven't, I haven't ran it a whole lot. Got to get kind of used to it. Um, let's see. We probably actually want to go into the siding here at Ella. So let me pop over here. Throw the old switcheroo. Oh, no, wait. I've already got a car sitting there. Abort. I forgot. I already had a car sitting there. We want to go around that car. Yeah, this needs to get delivered. 
along with the other one, then we need to pick these guys up. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. Doot, doot. Forgot I set that car out on the way through this morning in game. No flat wheels yet. I'll keep trying. I mean, I've, I've averaged about a hundred viewers for like what two and a half hours. That's crazy. You guys love this game. I'm loving it too. Okay. Now what are we doing? <laughs> Stuff. I think I might have Al drive and we'll do some some leg work. So these are just going on through. We can cut those off. And let's have Al go ahead and pull up there. We'll get you back on the track. We'll do some switching. Time to do some night moves. <laughs> uh, I apologize. I'll I'll quit. Uh, I'll quit uh, singing. Okay, so you need to go there. You're coming off the track. Oh, that's a bug. Can I replicate that bug? Okay, so we're in first person, we hit tab. Hit two to go to external view. No, I can't replicate it. Weird. Before when I went to two, it didn't show until I hit tab twice again. All right. It's a uh, an intermittent bug apparently. All right, so we need to grab that and that and stick that in there. So we need to grab the empties first. Unless I want to do a whole bunch of shuffling back there, which I guess I could do. Yeah, we don't have a lot of room here. So I could grab that. I've got enough room. I could grab both those empties and still have that on the nose. So yeah, I think we're okay. Just doing a little planning. Uh, I've not tried that, Zach. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that out. All right, I think he's lined up. Let's bring him back in here. Nope, he is not. Sorry, Al. I thought I threw that switch. I'll get myself sorted out here eventually. Now you're too close. There's a bonus on the observation car. I'm pretty sure it covers the entire consist. That's the whole point. Yep. It's the whole consist. It has to be the last car on the train, though. Are you confused now because of the fusey? There, move down the track a little bit. I'll get this switch thrown. Now you can come backwards. What time is it going to be? Almost four o'clock? Yeah, we need to get wrapped up here. 
I think it's going to be about right. By the time we get these picked up and then back over to East Whittier, I need to get off here. Hopefully I have enough time to get this finished up. Then I'll be all set to record episode 15 when I get time. All right, switch over to yard mode. Didn't switch that quite close, quick enough. I'm glad he stops now when he couples up. Instead of coupling up and then pushing it on the remaining distance. All right, one car, Al. Slower down, Al. <laughs> oh, come on. That wasn't one car length. Come on back a half. Should have known when he slowed down that he was not going to couple up. He does like to slam them together. Uh, let's see. We need to knock the handbrake off of that. Oh, you're already clear of the switch. I'm sorry, Al. You're good. <laughs> uh, you need to go forward, though. Let's keep you to 10. We don't need to go too fast. Then you're good to come on back into here. Have to go work as a crypto miner, Stuart. <laughs> oh, do you get derailed, Squirrel? I might have to experiment in sandbox mode just to see. Like, do you end up in the pit? That'd be pretty funny. Alrighty, let's go grab that empty. Cut it off the other car. I'm really glad they added a uh, decent AI, even though it's pretty basic right now. Uh, I really enjoy doing this switch moves and just having him drive. It's fun. I can run around and do all the uh, switching and uses and stuff. All right, let's switch you to yard mode. About ten cars. Come on back to a couple. Easy there, bud. Goodness gracious. And break something. Ooh. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, trains with Nick, that sucks. Ouch. Oh, you just stop and it derails you. Takes damage. I gotcha. Bleed this car out. We're going to just push this. Push this a little bit so it's not right against the bumper. There 
go. I'm I'm coming, Al. Hold on. It's a quick way to get over here. Okay, we need to go grab this other empty now. So you can come on back. Time for a pee test. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been working out cookie juice. Black cars in the shed for restoration. I uh, do not. Yeah, it'd be nice if it had like, you know, five auto saves back, Nick. That would be nice. I actually back up my saves all the time, like before I play. I've got a simple little PowerShell script that just automates it. Which is linked in the video description if you want to make use of that. Uh, bring her on back. About 10 cars. I'll tell you five, you'll stop two feet from that car probably. So yeah, you got you got boned by the autosave timing. That sucks. I've done the same thing though. I got distracted and slammed into something really fast. And luckily I was able to go back to an autosave. Stop, Al. Al. Oh, Al. Buddy. You're killing me. <laughs> Holy crap. Did you not damage anything? Somehow we didn't damage that car, slamming it into the bumper at full speed. Well, not full speed, but at, at some speed above zero. Goodness gracious. I heard the crunch. I thought for sure that was going to take damage. You need to slow down there, Al. Working on my night moves. to turn off a lantern, hop in the engine. And I'm going to take over for Al. I'm going to kick these two uh, empty cars back. At least that's the plan. We'll see what happens. All right, so we need to go to the engine and then go, oops, wrong button. be hard to do in the dark because I can barely see this. I've got the gamma turned up for you guys. So if I look over at OBS, I can see way better. Uh, all right, let's put him in manual mode. And then I want to... Open those couplers. Let's get this set up so we can kick these. Do -do 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 -do. So that's off... Bleed that car, bleed that car. And then I want to be on this view. I don't think I've broken a knuckle. I don't can you do that in this game? Alright, we'll see what happens. Need to have that thrown that direction.
Oh, this is 40 tons in it. There we go. That worked. Yeah, I might break a knuckle the way he's going. Wait, you restarted the game, Squirrel? Lost some payments. Coal hopper disappeared. Ran out of water on two locos. Finance is destroyed. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Delivered. Okay, I didn't see the pop-up. I guess I just missed it. Oh, no, it delivered before. Right, right, right. When we were picking up the other cars is when I got paid for it. Never mind. Never mind. All right, we need to hustle. Okay, we'll go grab those, stack them on the train, and head for uh, Whittier. Crunch. All right, lace up some hoses. Close that off. Find the hand wheel in the dark. Make sure we got all our switches lined up. We're done at Ella. All right, we got two at Holy F at uh, Hollyfield, and one at Stenzel to pick up over there in Whittier. And we are D-U-N done. Oh, you grabbed it, Nick? Yeah, if you're not familiar with PowerShell, it might be a little daunting, but basically just save that script as a a file and then you can what I do is I put a shortcut on my desktop and then you can just right click on the shortcut and say run with PowerShell and it'll run it And it just makes a, a folder where your saves are and cop makes dated copies in the folder. It's dead simple. It just makes it's handier than having to do that yourself. Yeah, it's really dark. Like you guys can see way better than I can. I can barely see. It's getting really dark. 
Um, I could actually do, is it weather clear? I'm not sure if we had any clouds. Yeah, we got rid of the clouds, but the moon is only so bright, apparently. All right, let's have, let's have Al drive again. Full speed ahead, Al. Let's double check switch list real quick. All right, head for Whittier. Follow the river down. We need to line into the siding here. Turn them off. I don't know if you have to pay the engineers if they're sitting still or not. Okay, we're going to have to grab... those guys and be able to, I have to run around those guys. Which one am I picking up here? That one naturally. So yeah, I want to stop short so I have room to work. So we'll have them stop like down here. Charging through the night. Yeah, I do have a lantern when you're running around on feet. There's my lantern. And I'm the same way, Squirrel. I use one to one time. Double overtime. DBL OT. Have I heard any news on the game? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, I kind of keep an eye on the Discord announcements. I haven't heard anything uh, beyond that. Candido, welcome. Or Candido? Candido? I kind of like Candido. Yeah, I can imagine Zach, especially running solo. Used to have an HO scale big boy, that would be amazing. I used to do some model railroading, HO and N scale. I still have some N scale stuff packed in a box somewhere. It's just so much easier to play this <laughs> than build a railroad. Yeah, the lantern is L. It literally just spawns a lantern like next to your character. When you're in the loco, you can turn these lights on. Yeah, Squirrel, they're working on all kinds of stuff. I like the AI stuff they're working on with the waypoints. It's going to be a, a game changer. Yeah, Nick, I kind of heard the same thing. Dynamic weather is planned. Nothing specific about seasons. They've already got weather in the game. They just need to make it you know, change on its own, basically. If you didn't know, you can do weather from the command line. You hit the uh, tilde key, a little squiggle, tilde key, and you type help. Bunch of commands in there. Um, it actually doesn't have weather in the list. <laughs> Fun. But there is a slash weather command. So the model railroad you're always too lazy to build. 
Yeah, there's. I've built layouts in the past. There's just it's a, a lot of effort. Oh, it was stolen, Corbinot. That's that blows. All right, Al got us over to Whittier. Thanks, Al. Appreciate it. And let's see. Yeah, we're just doing pickups here. So we can leave all these guys back there. So I think Stenzel would be the first thing to do. You know what? I'm going to use Al because I'm going to mess this up. So we need to come over here and grab this car. Set that one over here. Stick that one back in there. Naturally, the one we need to pick up is on the inside. You don't think the SW1 is going to make it, Nick? Uh oh. The trains with Nick. That's that's the the Nick that did the uh, Loco Shortline videos, right? I'm thinking of the right Nick. Like me to talk more about Key Escondido. If you have the game, there's a guide right here. Click on that. Click on controls. All the keys are right here. So make sure you make sure you check that out. If you have any specific questions, happy to answer those as well. Dang it, Al. You slammed into that stuff again. Okay, I was thinking that was the same Nick. I just don't want to get confused. Yeah, the development's kind of slowed down on that. Still keep an eye on it now and then. It's good fun. He might have bit off more than he could chew trying to do two games. I saw the switch line against Shao. I got it. It's so flipping dark. I'm not used to doing night work. Occasionally I have to look over at my other screen on OBS and see what I'm doing. I've got the gamma turned up about 25% over there. That's out of the way now. There might be like better moves. To do the, where's the brake handle? Oh, there it is. I'm looking at my other screen. <laughs> it's dark. 
Yeah, that one's going back in here. All right, so we'll shove that back in the uh, stencil. And you come back down here, grab this box car, leave it there, run around it, back in, get the two Hollyfield cars, back up, hook onto the train, and then we're ready to highball on out of here. It's just that simple. I just can't see anything. Maybe I should put myself here and uh, turn on my lantern. There we go. I can see a little bit. All right, that's good, Al. Come on back, sir. And put that on up in there. Maybe I ought to keep you at five. He's you get a little excited sometimes. Been taking a break, Nick. Yeah, I haven't played it much for quite a while. Just lack of time, not due to lack of interest. Oh, he got an actual real job again. Okay. So yeah, it's it's hard to do that on the side, develop a game. And he got into a relationship. Well good for him. That's awesome to hear. That's much more important than video games. Oh, listen to her work. Yeah, I use the AI quite a bit, especially running the passenger train. Like, I don't run passenger trains. I just have the AI do it. with the light occasionally. I'm going to cheat and put myself over here so I can see again. It's my portable flashlight. Alright, that's good out. Right there will do. portable flashlight back down here. <laughs> like occasionally the moon lights up more. I gotta hurry though. I need to get off here. We're gonna be doing some family stuff in a bit. But it's gonna work out pretty nicely because we just need to get over to East Whittier and then we're done. All right, now come on back over here. Grab this car. I'm gonna put you in yard mode. Just come on ahead. Couple up to that box car. Oh no 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 no! Stop stop. I told you wrong, Al. That's my bad. Oh no! I'm I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm getting in a hurry. <laughs> okay, poor Al. It's okay, Al. I'll I'll give you a break. I've just confused the ever-loving brain right out of his head. Poor guy. I know what I'm doing, I swear. <laughs> I can hear wifey up in the kitchen banging around. She's back, so. You get off here in a little bit. Alrighty. Let's get down in here. Grab that. I need to run around this box car. That's what I forgot to do. Hey, catch you later, Zach. Should be a new episode out. Um, oops. Release. Should be a new episode out Monday. That's the plan. I'm going to try to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday and keep that pace up for Railroader. At least for a while. It may slow down because it's getting really busy. And I don't always have time to do like, you know, three or four hours of work between episodes. I think that pulled. I guess it says it's loose. Okay, we need to run back around. Get on the front end of that box car, grab the two tankers over here for my canceled contract. I accidentally canceled that contract. I didn't mean to do that. 
I was showing how to do it, how to cancel it, and I forgot and left it on cancel. <laughs> that cost me a thousand bucks. So I gotta take those tanks, tank cars back since that contract is now canceled. to do and then we're gonna back in and grab those guys is there a big hill over by Fontana I haven't really explored past uh, Alarca or east of East Whittier either, so I don't really know what's over there. I've heard there's a big, is it Red Marble Grade or something like that? People are always talking about that. Sounds like that could be a real challenge. Alright, I don't want to slam into that boxcar too fast. I can barely see it. I should can I get back here? It gives me a little bit of light back here. There we go. All right, on back. That's empty. Hey, catch you later, Game of Life. Thanks for hanging out. That one's empty. That one's got stuff in it. All right, I'm picking up black cars at night. I can't see. I see the lettering here. I see a little bit of glare from the moon. If I look over on my OBS screen, I can see, though. See, I need to slow down. Use the independent. All right, where's y'all's handbrakes at? There we go. Oops. Do that proper. Okay, we got those cars. We are... We are done. We just need to get these over to the interchange. And we're done. That only took, what? Three and a half hours by the time we're done? <laughs> that was a lot of work. There's a lot going on. back and we'll grab the rest of our train 4.9 percent oh wow hey west virginia railroader um for the for any contract you can deliver them i think whenever but you'll you'll lose reputation if they're late and you get less of a bonus like day one, day two, day three that they're late. That makes sense. When I'm not backing into my train, I'll show you on the contract page that info. These switches cleaned up. You're coming through there. Beautiful.
We get hooked up, and then we'll have Al take this over to the interchange. I don't know where the handbrake is, so we'll do it that way. <laughs> I can't see. There we go. Okay. Al, it's all yours again, bud. Well, let's have you go 30. There are some switches through here. Speaking of switches, let's make sure he's lined up to get into the interchange track that we want him on. Coming through there. Come through there. That looks good. That looks good. Oops. Wrong clicky thing. That's good. That's good. And we can escape on this track, I think. Ooh, no, that's I'm not gonna be long enough, am I? We're gonna have to back in. We're gonna have to come all the way down here and back in. Uh, I'm sure how many cars he's got, but I don't think it's more than that. Got throw one down there, and then if I get distracted, he'll at least stop there. You can wait and take them all to interchange at once and not get penalized. To the oh, to the interchange. Uh, so there's a couple things going on. Let's go to. Uh, Robinson Gap Cole. So there's a 632% bonus for timely delivery. So that means delivering to the coal and delivering to the interchange. You'll get a bonus. 6% same day, 3% first, and 2% second if you hover over that it tells you so it just depends on how much bonus you want and i think you'll take a reputation hit if you wait beyond the second day but i'm i'm not i'm not sure i haven't tested that because i like being 110 <laughs> percent now what i've done is I'll have cars out there at the coal plant filled, ready to come back. And I'll take empties out that day. And then it'll fill the, at least at tier three, it'll fill them in a day. And then I'll bring both cuts full of coal back to the interchange that same day. So that's what I've been doing when possible. All right, here he comes. So, seven cars, plus the engine and tender. Got them all swept up. Everybody's on board. Excellent. All right, let's get you slow down, Al. So he's going to need to come back and then go, yeah, go onto that track. So I hope that made sense. Uh, Torny, the waybill will tell you where to deliver stuff. If you hover over the car, it'll tell you the destination. Or if you hit tab, you'll get the waybill info. So you just have to go by waybill. It'll tell you where the where everything needs to go. All right, yard mode. Bring her on back. 
41.625. Nice. And we'll have you push on into the interchange track. Yeah, you're welcome, West Virginia Railroader. My pleasure. There's a lot to take in in the game, so not everything is obvious. I had a bunch of questions for the developers when I first started playing. And uh, they added a lot of info to the guide, thankfully. All right, let's turn back to manual. And then I need to find out where's the brake in the cars here. Here it is. Need to hook you guys up, turn you off. Are you going reverse or no? You're going, yeah, you need to go reverse. Let's just back you on into the interchange until these are all processed. So when you get to, you need to get to there where my guy is. You know about the way bill I thought it was a specific place yeah there'll be a specific like track to spot it at if that's what you mean and if you hover over the way bill see how it lights up the track that's where you need to take it you mouse over any way bill it'll, it'll give you a direction up here at the top and it'll highlight the tracks yeah you're good al I got to I got to talk and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> You're good, buddy. That'll do. Alright, let's throw a handbrake on. Coupler off. You back on manual. Up in the cab. We're done. We're done with the sweep. We got all the cars. But everybody back to the uh, interchange. Switch list is complete. So that will be it. I'm going to wind it up here and get off. Appreciate y'all hanging out for some railroader. I need to get off here and go do some stuff. And I'll be glad to be playing the daylight again. <laughs> So I'm going to plan on, uh, like I said, Monday having uh, episode 15 where we'll make our first run out to Alarca. Because uh, that contract is, that milestone is finished. And once tomorrow hits, we should be connected here. So we'll do that in episode 15. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for hanging out as always. And I'll catch you later. Oh, and if I don't see you, Happy New Year! Bye-bye.